My name is Diamond Russell. I'm sitting here with my mom, Elonda. The date is May 26, 2019, and we are recording this interview in our house in Chicago, Illinois. So, hi, mom. How was your day today? It was okay. Why was it okay? Only okay. Because I had to cook, and then I rest a little. But if I only had to rest, I, it would have been just great. Mm. So, do you mind if I ask you a few questions today? No, go ahead, Diamond. So, when and where were you born? Chicago, Illinois. Um, how was it like growing up? And like, what year were you born? Like, was it a long time ago? I, <laughs> I was born in 1973. And what you mean? I was nineteen seventy three. I I can't really tell you what happened now. I was that's when I was born. Well, how was it like growing up in your childhood? Uh, the child. Well, it was it was really different from how it is now. Uh, when I was growing up, we were able to come out and uh, play on our bikes, jump rope, go to the park, walk to the little corner stores and not worry about anybody taking us or somebody shooting us down. And those were things that we didn't have to worry about, whereas the parents have to worry about now. So I think the times just have really changed. Do you, like, well, well why do you think, like, it changed since you were younger? Um, it has a lot to do with, um, I think, because a lot of our young men, um, have dropped out of school. A lot of them uh, went to the streets. They're on drugs. Some of them are living in um, single-family homes without dads. And um, then there's just not enough um, programs and things to keep their time occupied. So they look to the streets to do it. When you were growing up, did you have siblings, or can you, if you did, like, can you tell me about them? Yes, I had, well, I actually have two sisters and three brothers. I had four brothers. One is deceased. Um, and pretty much we were, we were good when we were coming up. Like I said, we was able to come out and play and do things what children do. Yeah, but the boys always would get in trouble because when it was time to come in the house, the girls would have to, we would have to go find them because they'd be out in the alley with their friends playing with little stray dogs. So they would always get yelled at or get on punishment because they don't come in when they're called. Were you like the middle child, oldest, or youngest? Between I'm the middle child. Me, No, I'm next to the oldest. I'm sorry. Did that make you feel good, or? Well, not, not really, because they act like I was the oldest, because everybody always have depended on me. Is that still true till today? Yeah, same thing. Nothing has changed. When it's a problem, everybody calls me. Do you think that's a good thing? Um, well, it could be a good thing, and it could be a bad thing. It could be good because you're able to help help them and then it could be bad because sometimes it becomes overwhelming how were your parents when you and your siblings were growing up um my dad he was pretty much laid back and my mom was the one that was like education good grades and so yeah and she just didn't tolerate anything less than the b and um and it wasn't to be hard on us it was just to say that you don't have a care in the world, so you need to make good grades. Do you think you're like that? Of course, yeah. It, it, it's in me. Um, and I feel the same way. You don't have any worries out. You don't have to work. You don't have to pay any bills. All you need to do is wake up, go to school, and do what you need to do. And I handle the rest. So you should be able to make A's and B's with no problem. Um, do you have... Well, how many... Kids do you have? I have two biological daughters and then I have um, a son and a daughter from marriage so a total of four. Well how long have you been married for? 
Um, I've been married since July of 2006. How did you feel when you found out that you were pregnant with me? <laughs> well, I, I'm going to, I guess, this is, it's been a while, 16 years. I don't remember back that far. But I'm sure I, it was a great feeling because um, my children is like um, one of the greatest accomplishments that I have in life. So I would say it had to be a really great feeling. Do you think that being a parent has changed you? I, I really think that it has because um, I can remember when I was a young adult, and, you know, I, I wasn't a wild or anything like that, but I did used to go out and party and hang with my friends. But once I became a mom, I stopped and because I felt like I had this other person that I had to uh, be a role model for. So, yeah, I think it, it makes a difference. Did you feel like that when you had your first kid? Well, my sister as well. I felt like that just period as being a mom. It, it started from when I had my my first child and it just carried on to the second one. How was I as a kid, if you can remember? Oh my goodness. You didn't want anybody to help you. You could barely get off the couch and you would push people out the way. And, you was you wanted to be the center of attention and you was a fashionista as a little kid and you love your lip gloss and it's still today so <laughs> you're about the same as you was then do you think others or like how do you think others describe describe me as a kid like the same way the yeah the same way probably the same way except for when you were smaller you you had like a little selfishness and you didn't want anybody to play with your toys or your sister toys and they weren't even your toys but I, I um so I tried to instill better in you to let you know that it's okay to share and not to be selfish because if you if you're the one I always want to be on the receiving end then that wasn't a good look think I got better with that as I got older yeah you have come a long way I think you still have a little bit in you but you have come a long way I can't say that um when you found out you were, that you were sick with cancer like did it change you or like what did you learn from it um I think it did because I stopped eating beef <laughs> I stopped eating pork I stopped perming my hair because it left me saying, now, how did I get this? Where did this come from? And and it and it's made me not take life for granted that, you know, to live every day like it's your last day. Did you do that? Well, I'm trying to do that. My, my living my life, uh, every day is like my, my last day. My time for me is I like to be in the comfort of my house. I'm not the person that likes to go out and hang out. And I will, but I like to be in my house. That's what makes me happy and feel good. I like to be in the house. I don't always like to be out and where crowds are and I just like to be in the house. I'm okay with going out sometimes and hanging out, but that's not me all the time. Well, what do you like to do in the house? Like, is there anything specific? Um, I like to listen to music and sometimes just chill. And, um, yeah, or maybe sometimes have a few friends over or something. But other than that, I just like chilling in my house. What's the most important lesson that you've learned in your life so far? Well, I don't know. How old are you? Well, in your I'm, life, I'm old. 
I'm 46. Um, that I've learned that's important to me um, um, I think something that I've learned is that it's okay to not be okay and be able to say that you're not okay because when you're the strong person, everybody thinks that you're always good. And that's not necessarily true. Because sometimes everybody have their moments. So it's okay to say that you're not okay. And I, I had to learn that because I'm so used to always being the go-to person. And so um, when I'm going through, it's hard for me to let people no, so I kind of like struggle in silence, and I'm I'm not a hundred percent still um, open with that, but that's ooh, how it's been for me. I've um, suffered in silence a lot when I'm going through. I don't let people in, which is not a good thing, but you know. Have you experienced any? miracles in your life like big or small um I just I think just like to have life itself is just new every something new every day and I, I don't take it for granted if you were to give advice to me or my children or even children to come like in our family what would it be if I want. If you were to give advice to me, no, to me or my children, or even children to come in our family, what would it be like in the future? In the advice, the advice I would give as far as just life itself is to, um, if I, I believe that if in everything that we do in life, that if we put God first and seek him on the things that we desire and that we want to do then we can do anything but we have to keep him in the forefront of it and I, um, I think that love plays a big part in it we have to know how to love we have to know how to forgive and I, I think that is something that a lot of us struggle with so yeah I to you know, keep God in the forefront of everything that we do, whether it's um, um, having children, getting married, education, every just everything, everything in your life, keep Him at the forefront of it. And if there's like the sky is the limits. Do you like consider yourself religious? Or, yeah. No, I'm not religious. I'm. Um, in tune to um, my Christianity. I'm not going to say I'm religious because to be religious you are you can be caught up in uh, all the different re religious antics that people say you should and shouldn't do. So no, I don't consider myself religious. No. I consider myself a follower of Christ. That's what I consider myself as being. Can you tell me about your high school years? Oh, uh, wow. They were really great. Um, there were some great years. Would I want to go back? No. <laughs> but um, high school was great for me. Um, I was I was on all four years. Uh, National Honor Society, cheerleader team. Um, and I had a lot of fun. I never hung with underclassmen because all my friend were, friends were a year ahead of me. So I always hung out with older classmates. So it was great times in high school. We had our prep, prep rallies and basketball games and football games. And I enjoyed all of it. So those were some great years. You 
you said you wouldn't go back, why wouldn't you want to go back? Um, because I just wouldn't. I'm, I'm just looking ahead. I wouldn't want to go back. Is I don't I don't have any regrets, so no, I wouldn't want to go back. Well, thank you, Mom, for your time today and sharing your story. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Today. Okay, I will. Thank you.